Hi everyone, it's Bonnie here and I have another project share. This is an altered alarm clock. I got the clock from a, a second hand store. In a, um, this one's actually gutted out, but this is kind of what it looked like. And I took it all apart and gessoed it up and um, just embellished it. So this is the next one that I'm going to do. Um, and I, I just paid a couple of bucks for these at, um, like I said, at the secondhand store. And, um, I think this one had Curious George on it. <laughs> so anyway, this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? I have so much going on here. I, I'm not even sure where to start. Let's start with, all right, I, like I said, I gessoed it up and I spread sprayed it with I don't know seven or eight different sprays to get the color that I wanted to match the paper line which is the lyric and you can't really see it now but it's in there <laughs> so um and then I used some texture paste all over it the handmade that I made with sand and some uh acrylic paint so it's all textured all over the entire thing Okay, so then here's one of those, um, they're like a Timmy clock handle thing, you know, like a, I, I have no idea what it's called, but it looks like it, you know, it winds up an alarm clock, and there was a hole in the middle there, so I kind of just stuck it through and, um, gessoed that up. I have some flowers going on here, um... That I had in my stash a couple little uh, leaves and then over here I have a, a butterfly from Michael's recollections collection and then here I have all kinds of more flowers going on I have some wild orchid crafts and these are ones that I had in my stash this is from um, the Michael's bin either dollar fifty or two dollar bin and I just stuck some leaves in here and then some of those little um, berry picks. Some more flowers here. I think I got these from Michael's also in the $1.50 bin. And these are from um, the Hobby Lobby. And they look like this. They're the spare parts. These are so fun to use. And so that's that. And more wild orchid flowers there. Um, this is a Melissa Francis heart, and again, I just spritzed it and um, did all kinds of stuff to it, added texture paste. Here's some Timmy wings here. I added some gesso. Here is a little clock um, from the Recollections collection. A little flower here, and this word laugh, I got at Michael's, and it's... Um, like one of those wooden it comes like three to three to a pack I think it's like live love laugh so I put that and again just spritzed it gessoed it spritzed it and added texture paste and here's a little Tim Holtz pen nib and more random flowers here and more berry picks I love those you know just stick them in and I, add, I added some pretty leaves there and then I, on the side, I have one of those, um, Timmy, I, I don't know what they are, because I put all my Timmy stuff in, like, a big thing, but it looks like this is, like, a fishing lure hook type thing, and just added this bobble on it, and this bobble actually came from, um, this chandelier on the bottom, I just took it off because it was too long in here and just added it here and then just more little um charms little doodad charms okay so um the inside i lined with the paper in there is like a little rip piece and i have let me see I have a flashlight and i was gonna see if i could peek in there with a the flashlight so okay so see how i oops I took the paper and ripped it at the top, and um, let me see if you can 
Oop, I got the little chandelier hanging. It's kind of hard to see. More flowers on the bottom. Going all the way around. And a couple on that side. In that little um, B clock, I just fussy cut out in there and just glued it on. And then there's a clock over on this side. You can see it's um, a Tim Holtz um, clock that I cut out of, um, I think I used a uh, chipboard. And then there's the little hands there. I'm so sorry. It's very hard to see. And then, like I said, there's random flowers all on the bottom. I wanted to put like a little light in here like Sabrina did with hers and I had gotten these little lights but they don't they didn't fit they look like this I bought them in the Ashland section at Michaels and they're really cool but they're kind of chubby and all you do is twist it see and the light turns on <clears throat> It, and it would have been really cool inside here, but it was too um, too chubby to fit in there. But isn't that cool if I had it lit up in there? Maybe in one of the bigger clocks I can fit it. And all, like I said, all you do is glue it down and then you just turn it when you want to turn, you know, the light on. So that is something that you can look for, you know, if you wanted to light up something inside. So that is my altered clock. I hope you guys like it. I had a lot of fun um, creating this. I don't think I stopped until it was done because I had so much fun. Oh, I have a flower vine here that I made. And here's another one of those Recollections Butterflies. And again, I just whitewashed everything with um, gesso. So that is it. I hope you like my clock. Um, I had a lot of fun creating it. Like I said, it was, <laughs> I didn't stop until it was done because it was so much fun to create. So much fun. I loved it. So hopefully I'll get a chance to make another one. So, okay, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I hope you like my clock. Take care and have a great day. Bye.